Welcome, I am Crimey Queen, and if you are joining us for the first time, it's the channel where we have fun with words and numbers. Words that we uh, harness, or not harness, just harness, but we um, really explore the scriptures and we find words or the essence of the words that we feel has been of um of such impact on our makeup, we now want to unpack these words through numerology and see how they have served us and see how they can continue to serve us or if they don't serve us anymore, of course, we just let go. Now, everything as it says, nothing is new under the sun, but it's really finding a way that we can use or turn things around to really help us, propel us in the right direction. And there we are with Mother Eve. And this whole story now, of course, this template was devised through the story of Christ, the sacrifice, and it has evolved to an extent now Christ perhaps is not mentioned as much anymore but because we have seen the parallel that Christ the sacrifice of Christ is in direct correlation with Mother Eve where we are from where who we are we are all children of Mother Eve we are told that we are um, the children of God. Yes, we are the children of God as we are all gods. And of course we go through this, um, like I have my parents and they, and I am a parent. So then it means that we are all under the title of parents. So that's one aspect. And of course, there are gods of hierarchical orders and principles. And so I am not attempting to um, belittle or, or this issue in any way whatsoever. Just like um, my parents may have had some very powerful position and, um, and purpose in the earth uh, or, and, and so on. So... There we are, but with Mother Eve, it's another, it's the different story with Mother Eve. Mother Eve is the source where we all come from. We are told we are 90% water now. I've heard some people say perhaps we are even more than 90, but we have not found an instrument that is robust enough to give us that um that sum uh, in a way that would be um that would be on um acceptable or un understandable but there we are talking about mother eve now i can see why as well that we would have perhaps 90% or thereabout, um, 90%, it makes sense, it makes total sense, which is why we are talking about the nine hair. We are always um, going through a, a birth. We are, so 90, there would be the other 10%, which is that one or one that would denote the, the spirit, because spirit in, numeral, in numerology is 10. So our mirror, is 10 so we can see even the mirror aspect works as though it were a spirit because when we look ourselves in the mirror it we are ignited as though a spirit had been um had moved in us to act to fix our hair to um, fix our clothes or do whatever it is or change whatever aspect of ourselves or being that we we would choose to do so there is that 10 percent now that 10 percent is what we have been also um, instructed if you like or directed to really pay attention to as well um, I just had this wonderful um, text come to mind about paying the 10% tithe it's just it just came to mind and I'm thinking I ought to just mention it so it has got some sort of significance um, it's that's what spirit does it just worms it its way anyway <laughs> That's what it does. Okay, so that's spirit. 
and um, of course we get drunk on spirits all right so um the purpose of this um presentation now i have been trying to get to um really flow with um the main the main message that i have been wanting to put across but it is the word in the the sentence in the beginning so the word the is in direct correlation we say in the word the is in direct correlation with the word um, Genesis. I'll just do that for, okay. Genesis is 33, but in case you are new to this, so this is 7555191. Now I like the, I, it makes me feel good to see the word Genesis because it has all these three fives in it, like in our template. The three fives, which is 15, one plus five is six. And on our template, we have a six um, in the middle where that new is. Then we have um, we have nine plus one, 10, 10 plus um, 10, 11, and seven is 18. So 18, one plus eight is nine. So we have nine and six is 15. 9 plus 6 um, is 15, 1 plus 5 is 6. But when we count all these together, it comes to 33, like 3 plus 3. So I've done this before, but it's, um, so it's 6. We have that. Now the, in the, because why it is so, it is so important to pay attention to that second word. I think every word is, is, um, every word in the Bible has, well, for Genesis of, in the Genesis of chapter one and two, for sure, I would say. And all these words have been put there with precision. Precision, meaning like a procession had taken place and then there's a precision. That, no, it comes like that and I go along with it. So there is two. So this is the second word in the, and it tells us with the number two, what it indicates already, eight and five. So this is 10 and five, 15. So we have the same, we come across the same word here. So two here is telling us that it is about to double. It is double. It is duality. It is partnership. So the two is very indicative of its, its nature. And it's not there by chance. So there we have six plus six is 12. Now, when we add one plus two for 12, that gives us three. So this is where the three vibration begins to really, that's that vibration. And when it is said about the three in one God, this is the three here we are talking about. This is the three. So in the, and if we were to um, add, for instance, so Genesis, for instance, um, I had said the Genesis, I kind of added or showed, but it's really um, showing, it was meant to show the reflection of um, the makeup of Genesis, which we are. We were a new Genesis. We were a new people, a, a new creation. There had been just like in the story of Noah, or all, any of the destruction, whether it was Sodom and Gomorrah or whatever stories, we were a new genesis, a new genes. That is what we we are. We all we 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 were <laughs> or still are. <laughs> yeah, so it's important for us to know. And it's we see the word um is at the end as well. It's like saying this S, which is 
the um, serpent, um, it is the genes, the genes is genes, the genes is the genes is is 33. The word itself tells so much. Genesis is telling us what what we are. The genes is, it's like saying, um, you know, everything is in the genes. Of course, we have understood now that how the genes can modify itself with the vibrational thoughts and all those things. So we can modify um, whatever is, whatever we, whatever is, of course, by by um, igniting hair on the three fives. We need to get into that three fives for whatever it is we want to do. Now, why I'm going to say this is that this is how Mother Eve, because new, the word new is three fives, is the three fives here. So this is where Mother Eve, and we see the six, the number 15 for the, it's like saying the new five. So Mother Eve had everything in her, all creatures. Hence, we are also termed as creature when, um, when it is said, when you are in Christ, you are a new creature. This was in the New Testament. So that would mean in the Old Testament, when God called the creatures out of the waters, we were creatures as well. There were great creatures great whales and great all sorts of things, but that we were also um, termed creatures there as well. Now, the word creatures have also in it create, if I'm correct. So if we were created, that means there's a direct match to ourselves in creature, with the word creature or the functions of creature. Okay. So... Here, as I was saying, we this is where we learn with Mother Mother Eve. We open our eye, we see the fruit, the moringa, and we eat of two seeds. So take two seeds of moringa daily. <laughs> it is very good. You know, continue to take two seeds of moringa, and it is not the most pleasant, um, but it's got it's so potent. It has to be the most potent um, seed that I have ever um, had on my palate. It is sweet. It is bitter. It is sour. It has, it has everything in it. So there, and I say in it, it meaning eleven. So there we are. We with Mother Eve. Mother Eve ate of the fruit because the long pod could be seen as a fruit. And that was there, we said, it was said, I have given you all seed yielding herb, seed yielding. So anything that had seeds in it for meat, there we have to really um, um, get into the moringa but there there's another thing about the apple why the apple is used to as well it equals five likewise moringa equals five now i'm sure there are other parts of the moringa we could find five in as well but moringa is moringa all aspect of it is five so there we go and we said in the apple there are five pips i believe so every um Every, uh, I was going to say, geographical country or every country need to find that relationship because you are divinely um, catapulted into that place where you ought to be. And so if it is um, apple that, um, that is that is meant for you, then it's fine. And perhaps that's what is, um, it really is meant for you. Okay, so Mother Eve would be offering us the opportunity to teach us how to um, digest of the Moringa, have it in, um, of course, um, 
there's a smell uh, to it as well. So the nose, which is eight, matching the et to eat is eight. The past tense of eat, et is eight. It matches the nose. So that means something goes up through the nose, like breathe. So she breathed. The word breathe is five now. Five plus eight is 13. This is where um, 13, um, five plus eight is, yeah, 13. And this is where 13 um, becomes like, I call it the incubator. This is where it takes, it, it takes a, a form. It takes the form and, it, and also um, 13 is four. So we have, we could even say with that four, it is the forehead. It goes to the forehead because we are dealing with the spirit of sound mind. Okay, to open the third eye. All right, now um, I have been delaying with this other aspect of what I wanted to say, but um, so we have in the, so we see in the, that would be five plus, so in the is equals, I've done this, in is five and the is six, so this is where we add, but it says beginning now, so beginning is nine. So if we were to add, and this is where I think 9-11 came in, as well. When we add 6 plus 5 is 11, like in Jesus, and then there is the birth. 9, this is a cycle, beginning and end. This is a cycle. When I was constructing this, um, this uh, template, this side of the template, I could not manipulate or touch or move the letters like I did in, in I think three of these columns. I could not do that. I was not allowed to do that. It's as if an invisible hand had held me and thought, you know, and I was very obedient too in that sense. And here, this part too, I was not um, able to touch because this is where the number two, the B, the 13, this is the 13, B is 13. B is very powerful. It is the breast, it is the buttocks, it is the M, the M word derives from it, the three, the E, and it is so powerful. It also means two, and it, con it contains so much. So I had no inclination or no um, power in fact, when I look at it, it's as if um, it's as if I could not do much with these three sixes. I'm going to have to check with the NEW. I don't think I um, manipulated that at all. W X Y Z. No. Um, well, the E. The E. Yes, I moved the E. The E was meant to be here, and that's about it. It would be, um, and that's about it. But we have seen how spiritually guided um, I was in this um, formation because it is here. Mother Eve is saying, when, W-E-N, I know there's an H missing, but the H has been there or put in for other purposes. But it's really, when are you going to come up and eat of the fruit of the tree of life, which is why the Moringa is called the tree of life as well. When are you going to take these two seeds and swallow it down and chew on it and help yourself to um, open your third eye? Now, I'm not just saying that Moringa is going to help you to open your third eye, but I believe it is a very good source if you're going to follow a diet of detoxing and and building your immune system because if you activate your kundalini i think you're going to need to have your immune system in shape to so moringa is a very very good seed to um to take um daily which reminds me i need to take my dose okay 
Now we have, um, so it's basically, I'm going to, let's look at the time on here. I think I'm going to do another um, presentation. As I was saying, we saw in the, um, that's 11. So I was talking about 9-11 actually. So I have done something on 9-11 before, but we see how 9-11, so there's 11 hair and nine hair. And of course, let's not, um, we can still pay attention to this, of course, because nine and nine is 18, so it still gives us nine. So it's nine eleven. This is where things really happen. I, when I was doing this, I thought this template, I believe this template will offer a solution or a format of where we can use this template to solve um, issues, to see where we're at on our life's path. And I, I can see it doing just that daily, really. So as I say, this is where we do our jazz. This is the bucket where we are eating and having agreements and um, making agreements of all sorts, whether positive or negative, and we have all luck. We go through a developmental stage here where we have to decide whether we are going north, south, east, west, or really get an orientation of our north, south, east, and west. Then we go through um, accepting, okay, well, I want to move ahead. And this is where it is said, when you are in Christ, you are a new creature. So with Christ spirit is the same Christ, Christ equals five and five equals mouth. And mouth, of course, um, equals nostrils, I believe. I did do something about nostrils. I believe it's also five. Bridge as well. Here we have the eight will take you to the bridge. The bridge, which is like a birth. So basically, you could call a baby a bridge. The baby is a bridge between the mother and the father. Now, a lot of men don't really like that bridge in essence of the attention that they don't get anymore. But there, that's a bridge. There is something one point to another. Um, and this bridge, of course, is quite live. And it'll take you to that forehead, that having your forehead, your um, kundalini rise, or your um, pineal gland um, activated, or um, your third eye, however you want to, um, to term it, but, and however you choose to activate it. But basically this is offering, um, offering a template, um, template to um, the life, the life, okay. And of course, as we are told, when you are in Christ or you are, you have him back, like in my experience, having my Kundalini rise, um, had been challenging in a sense of while I could see beauty in everything, beauty beyond that, beyond what I was able to see. On the other hand, I was, um, also able to see the deep pain as if it was her, the mirror of where I had been was um, reflecting at me. And so I was able to see the, the oneness and yet I was able to see the pain. I was able to see the hell, the heaven and all of the construct of the universe, if you like. I was able to see that. And so this is where we have to find the balance. This is where there is the cross of your north, south, east and west. Find the balance on the axle that I call it and find a way like a fox, be cunning, be wise, be um, in a way that um, be ignited, be, um, be supple and so you can find your path on your gypsy journey where you must find yourself because your gypsy journey, you are going to a destination. That destination is going to have certain requirements of you, your 
NIS number, your um, your particulars or your um, family history or the land you are going into will want to know where you're coming from, who are you, um, what have you brought and um, what good can you be to all society and that means you are faced with headquarters zone of course with whatever it is you decide to do you will be both in a newness where you have to pay for to the inland revenue that payment might be in your interrogation it may be of um being of service to another person it may be of service of um building a new structure a new environment something a project or um having it may be that you had got married um, in this new land or on your journey and you move into a new place, the new Eden, and you have to get registered. So there we are. That is um, the path of Mother Eve. Like it is said, they were sent to the far east of the garden. Okay, Adam and Eve. So let's um, conclude on this presentation. I hope you like this. I hope you have found this insightful somehow and um, and find some some or see how it marries in your life. If there is anything you can use of that template or um or the words like in the, knowing that now, the word the we use every day, like it has Eve in it as well. We use the every day and several times. Perhaps it's one of the most, it might be the most common word that we use. In fact, I really think it is. And so um, when we use the, we know we are connecting on the, um, the aspect of Mother Eve, the, the um, which is the genesis of that which we are. Everything that was ever created is in the. Thank you for watching. I hope you like this. Please like, subscribe and share because this is how we do it. We share to actualize in self for love. Stay blessed, stay ignited, be a field, be bliss filled because we are planting new seeds and spill over with love. Namaste.